Hey you, I picked up some goodies from Olivia Palermo Beauty. I have wanted to try this line for quite some time now, so I picked up some goodies and we're gonna try them out, test them out, see what they're all about. So let's hydrate and begin. So I have to take a moment, look how nicely everything's packaged, right? Yes. Everything's packaged really, really good. Like packaged really, really good, I will say that. I like the size of the line. I like that it's not too many products. I feel like it's like staple products. Nice, nice things. Oh wow, these are heavy. So I picked up two eyeshadows, a lipstick, and a lychee lip balm. So I have four products to share with you. Let's start off with this packaging, okay? Really luxe and really nice. I like that. So here we go. Let's start off with the lychee lip balm. Your girl is a fan of gold, so I like that. I'm on the Neiman Marcus website. This bomb retails for $29, and it's described as a high gloss application that glides on for a high shine look that lasts, leaving your lips feeling nourished and conditioned. Enriched with shea butter, the balm helps soften and moisturize the lips for long wearing comfortable feel. Designed to be worn on its own or under your favorite lip pencil or lipstick, the tinted shade is subtle, allowing your natural lip color to reveal itself. By the sounds of it, this is a product that I will want to reach for. So packaging is really nice. You've got the logo up top here. It's like a very slim, I like the packaging. It's pretty simple and nice. And I believe there are only two options for this, the lychee shade and then clear. So I have lychee, so. This is the matte lipstick. I, what's, Shianti? I think that's the shade. Oh wow. Here's the lipstick. Look at these details, oh my goodness. Wow, this is nice. Got a little weight to it too. Logo up top, details down at the bottom. And here is the shade that I went with. Magnetic closure, this is luxe, this is beautiful. There are a total of five shades for the lipstick. Easily glides on lips, coating them with color without drying the lips. Easy lip absorption creates an optimal combination of moisture and softness. Enriched ingredients provide the ultimate protection for the lips. Okay, lipstick. Next up are the eyeshadows. I'm just like so excited for these. These are so heavy. These have to weigh at least two pounds. Like they're so weighty, the packaging. You can tell this is like nice quality packaging. So the outer carton is really nice as well. The details. Beautiful details. So there are a total of three eyeshadows. I picked up two. They're said to be a curated palette of luxurious eyeshadows inspired by Olivia's travels and elements of nature in a range of finishes for stylish and iconic everyday eye looks. So the packaging is just like the lipstick. This is nice. It's like a weaved design in gold. I like that. And then right here on the front, it says Olivia Palermo. And on the back, you have your details. And I do like that it gives you the name and their finish. So we've got matte, satin, and shimmer in this one. This is Soiree. Ooh. Wow, look at that. This feels, this feels really nice. Here is Soiree, very pretty. Such a pretty color story. I can automatically see like every day in here, a little more glam if you want. This is beautiful. Wow. So we've got a total of six eyeshadows and the total weight is 8.5 grams. And then Eau Natural, I think you have an idea what that one looks like based on the name. So the packaging is the same. It's really, really nice. Could definitely hurt someone with this. <laughs> it's so heavy. Look at this color star. It's so pretty. Oh, natural. I like this because you have this fun little pop of blue here, but then if you took that away, right, you have a very wearable color story. So that's nice. So let me show these to you side by side. So we have Eau Natural and Soiree. 
side by side. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's Soiree. This one didn't swatch the greatest, but doesn't mean that it's not going to apply very well. We'll have to see. So Au Natural and Soiree. I want to go into Soiree first. So I'm going to go into this shade here. It's a little pinky and it's said to be a matte. Let's try this pink. Oh, wow. Very pretty color. It's a very soft matte and look how easy that blended. Wow, very nice. So I'm just gonna focus that more so in the crease and on the outer eye. That's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna go into this lighter pink shade beside it. And let's use that to blend the edges. Bring this up a bit, a little gradient effect. Well, I will say the formula on this, it's, it's a very nice and easy formula. The colors are blending. Very nice, okay. Um, let's go into this darkest shade here. Let's focus that on the outer eye. Add a little more depth of look. I like this color. It's not black, so it's not gonna be too, too, too dramatic. But it seems as if we could build it up if we'd like. Okay, that's nice. Okay. I want to go into both of these so badly. Uh, okay, so let's go in with my finger to this shade here. Look how pretty. Look how gorgeous. Do you see that? That is such a pretty color. Okay. I'm going to apply that with the finger on my lid. Oh, I got a little fallout. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's the type of shadow. I, I, I expected it. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. Let's dust away this fallout really quickly. Okay, and the fallout dusted away very nicely. <laughs> I started to get a little nervous. All right, now I'm going to take a brush and go into the more bronzy shade and just pack that on my brush and apply that on the beginning portion and then let's pat to blend the two colors. And then I'm just going to turn the brush around and go into the shade that we have on the lid. And I need a little bit of it on the outer portion as well. Oh, she's quite glamorous. Yes, indeed. Just to be a little careful blending these edges here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that darker shade right here. And let's blend these edges a bit. Oh, very lovely. That is lovely, lovely, lovely. This is a pencil pro. Let's go into this. Let's go into this lightest shade right here. It's kind of like my skin tone, but I need to do a little something. It's kind of my skin tone, so I'm actually just going to go back into the bronzy shade. I 
there is fallout, but that is because of the type of shadow that this one is. It does scatter, so just keep that in mind. I would probably do my eye makeup first. Yeah. I'm going to take that same pencil brush and I'm going to go into this, these two shades and apply that on the lower part of the eye. And let's do a couple of coats of mascara. All right, so I pretty much used every color from this Warre palette. And here is the look that I came up with. It's fun. I probably would more than likely use the bronzy shade all over the lid. Um, and then smoke it out with this darkest shade. Another look could definitely be just these top three for like a nice pretty every day. But I like the quality of the shadows. And the look is cute. Let's try out Eau Natural for this eye. Alright. So I'm actually going to go into this lightest shade here. And apply that on the brow bone. I'm using a fluffy brush so it's not too harsh in that area. And then I'm also going to put it on the beginning portion to just brighten up that inner eye. I don't know what look we're doing yet, but you know, we're going to let the colors and my brush guide. So smooth. Very nice. All right, let's go into this pretty brown here with my fluffy brush and just go in and blend that in the crease. Oh, she's dark. A little darker than I expected, but we'll blend and see what happens. I'm taking that same brown shade. Actually, no, let's go into this shade here. It looks different. The color is very different, but it's like a gray. Let's use that for the outer eye portion. Mm, I feel like that would look nice on the lid more than on my outer eye. So I'm going, so I'm going to go into this one. Put that on the outer eye. Let's see what we can do. That felt a little more like a lid shade for my complexion. This is a look. Do you see it? The gray and the white? That's pretty. It's like a, uh, a gray cool tone. Smoky eye. Ooh, very nice. <sighs> Do I dare <laughs> have these three shades to choose from for the lid? This one really, I feel like, would look the best. But I really want to try this pop of blue. Okay, I want to try a way <laughs> to try them all. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take my brush and let's go into this shade here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, yes. That's so pretty. I'm going to go into the shade above it. Put that Marshall on the beginning portion. They kind of look similar on the lid because it's just a tone difference. We could totally stop here. This is such a pretty look. But like I said, we need to try the blue. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel like we might want to put the blue on the... Look how pretty. Do you see that? That's so pretty. Wow. I really like this look on the lid. It's so pretty. I don't wear colors enough like this. Oh, this is gorgeous. All right, I really, oh, okay. <laughs> I 
I'm going to go into the pretty blue shade. We'll put that on the lower lash line. Let's do that. Be careful because there are some glitter particles and you don't want to get these in your eye. <laughs> that will be a nightmare. And I feel like this could go really bad really quick with fallout. So I'm actually going to stop there and go into my brown shade. And go back into my fluffy brush into this lightest shade. I don't really pull it out there. I like the way that looks. I really like the way that that looks for my waterline. So we'll just go in with Old Faithful and mascara. Honestly, I could live without the blue on the lower lash line, but I really wanted to try it. I technically wanted to try each shade. <laughs> out of the palette so technically we did but look at these on the lid the colors are just so pretty you can tell that the quality of these shadows is some good quality stuff i like it so we have au natural and soiree on the eyes let's swatch these lip products shall we let's start off with the balm the lychee lip balm and as you can see you've got the little detailed olivia palermo there let's swatch it Let's see, it's supposed to be a bomb, so it's probably really sheer. It's like just a hint of color. Yeah, not getting much there. All right, there's the lychee lip balm. It's nice, it's hydrating, it's nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, that we haven't already experienced. It's a bomb, it's nice. This is a matte lipstick, and again, here is what she looks like. Let's swatch it beside the ball. Oh wow, that was one swipe. Look at that. Let's do like more of a built up swatch. That's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like if you build it up, it gets a little bit darker. I like that. All right, let's see. This lip feels like kind of purple, right? I don't think it goes with my eye look. <laughs> this is a nice formula on the lips. Mm -hmm. Don't look in my eyes. <laughs> Definitely doesn't go with the eye look. So this lip definitely doesn't go with my eye looks, but very nice lipstick and this color is so pretty all together I think it's a little much <laughs> but this is what it looks like all right so I finally tried out the Olivia Palermo beauty line and I have to say packaging is it's ex what you think you're looking at is exactly what it is it's weighty it's luxe it's detailed it's beautiful really really nice packaging at first I was like oh it's a little too much no it's different it's nice it's not it's not too bulky it's it's nice this is nice packaging it's simple but it makes a statement and I will add the quality on the eyeshadows it's nice um the shimmery shades you do get a bit of fallout but what shimmer shade do you not get fallout? You know what I mean? It's besides the fallout because I mean, hello, I have my face makeup on before I did my eyes. Um, other than that, the shadows performed really nice. And I tried to use every single wand to create a look from both of the palettes. And they both performed really well. Blended nicely, very pigmented, creamy, smooth. I wasn't, you know, building, building, blending, blending. And... I like the color stories. The color story on this one, this is not like a typical color story for me, but now that it's on, like, 
I like it. <laughs> lipstick. The formula is very nice for a matte, too. You can see it here. It has some moisture in there. It's not like a drying matte. It's very nice. And the balm, I went ahead and put that on with my House of Siage lip liner. Very nice. So overall, I like the goodies that I picked up from this line. And again, this is not a line that has a lot of products, but what it has, they're nice. So I'm happy that I finally got to try it all. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, allowing me to share the Olivia Palermo Beauty Collection goodies that I picked up with you. Please take a moment to give today's video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.